The Covington City Commission is slated to take a vote on hair discrimination in the coming weeks. The new ordinance would ban discrimination based on natural hair texture and style. Whitney Miller spoke with city officials about why this needs to happen in Covington. This ordinance is modeled after the Crown Act legislation passed so far in seven states and the city of Cincinnati. If it's passed here in Covington in a couple of weeks, it will be one of the first cities in Kentucky to pass such an ordinance. I just wanted to uh, let everyone know so that I won't shock them that I will be wearing my natural hair next week when we vote on this ordinance. Last week, Covington City Commissioner Michelle Williams made it clear she's ready to rock her natural hair. I've been in politics for six years. I've been on the Covington City Commission and the whole time I have felt like I've had to wear my hair straight. Next week, city officials will take a vote on whether or not to adopt an ordinance that bans hair based discrimination. Williams raised the idea to the commission last month. They should be able to wear their hair natural however they choose to wear it. It's a cultural thing, how we decide to wear our hair if we wear it in braids or twists. Williams and the city's mayor say it's likely the ordinance will pass because it's an extension of the city's 2003 fairness ordinance that includes sexual orientation and gender identity as a protected class. We've adopted an ordinance to ban conversion therapy and now with the Crown Act, what we're doing are, are recognizing the uh, informal ways that people can be uh, discriminated against and disadvantaged uh, because of characteristics that are natural and over which they have absolutely no control. Mayor Meyer says it's another step in making sure Covington continues to promote inclusivity. We think it makes for a more exciting and an interesting city. We we call it we, we prefer to think of ourselves as a city of opportunity for all people. Now, if and when this ordinance passes, the city has a enforcement process for anyone who feels like they may have been discriminated against. Those cases will be investigated and mediated. For now in Covington, Whitney Miller, WCPO 9 News.